I can discharge my responsibilities half as well as he did. Giant snowflakes drifting over London's Regent Street tell the story of the opening of the festive season. The snowflakes are something new this year, but as in other big cities, so in the capital, the story itself is ageless. Christmas is coming. The signs are everywhere. And talk about window shopping. For the kids, it's more like stargazing at this time of the year. One particularly big draw was a lifelike chimpanzee band. They were really hot stuff. On the other hand, it was too cold for these baboons in a zoo on the continent. They found their work quite absorbing all the same. And looking at this happy family, it's obvious who wears the trousers, even in the monkey world. Mum gives young brother a ticking off. The rest of the family wisely keep out of it, while Dad gets his too. Yes, it's been cold over there, and Munich's recent blanket of snow provides the authentic Christmas card touch. As for the youngsters, their reaction to snow is the same the world over. Back to Britain now, and right down to business. Let's have a good look at the toys. kids. There's hardly any limit to the choice they can make. But if children get toys, why shouldn't a lion cub have a Christmas present? This youngster's got a bite for everybody, and one for the tiger. Father Christmas has been in constant attendance, and somehow he contrives to get most of the wishes granted. There certainly are some jolly decent things to buy. I say, whatever will they think of next? One thing, however, is quite certain. Whatever eventually finds its way to the Christmas tree has had to be carried all the way home by the old man.